after the show. No limitations here. <laughs> <laughs> we can say the word. No, we oh, can't, out. Sam. We don't do that. Um, you know, you started the show this morning, Murphy, saying, oh, I'm going to give props to Jody," And I was like, what I'm did I do? I'm always giving props to my wife. Um, but it's for that lasagna fail. No. Yeah. I think you enjoyed making fun oh, of no, that. Oh, no, you're but... talking about the sale of my grandmother's chairs. Yeah. Right out from underneath me. <laughs> 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 One minute you were sitting in them at the table. Next no, minute they okay, were on the back of a truck. The deal is this. I'm actually, you're giving whatever. You're saying I have some retail or sales Saturday, prowess yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I may. But I will say this. I am almost surprised that that was done without a hitch for you emotionally. Um, to bring anybody up to speed who doesn't know, Murphy, you are very sentimental. Sentimental about items, and when I say this, I he's mean he's a pack rat. He's a pack rat, but well, he's also a very emotional, sentimental person. And nobody in this world has meant more to you in your life than your grandmother Heidi. Yeah, um, I mean, my shaped... mom obviously was very important. You're very important. Oh, to I me. know. I'm not trying to rank. <laughs> Look, I'm not about that. I so guess. where would you rank them? But, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but if we start talking about my grandmother, yes, special place, very special lady. And the, I mean, look, you even said childhood memories. You know, your grandmother, or right. if, if you're, and look, she was my only living grandparent for most of my life. So and I think she also gave you those feelings of security and comfort and, and, uh, absolute, you know, adoration that you, that you crave as a child. Mm-hmm. I feel like she just filled in any gap you may have had. My grandmother would make any of her grandchildren feel like superstars. Right. You know what I mean? You could accomplish anything you wanted to. That's what she said. You can yeah. put your, anything you put you your mind to. You had the dream grandmother. In fact, you need I to did. just acknowledge that right now, which you, you did when you eulogized her. She was yeah. the dream grandmother. So you and win you know what? Even that, that. I, I, obviously losing her was tough. She lived to be 97 though. So I mean, look, hey, you know what? Very yeah. few people get to live that long. But being able to eulogize her was a gift also. Yeah. I absolutely wanted to be able to recognize her for all the things. And look, I was only around for the last however many years of her life. I think <laughs> you were a blip she was, to her, huh? <laughs> she, uh, how old would she have been? She would have been 55 when I was born, something like that. Mid yeah. 50s, late 50s. I think 50s. that's young, but yeah. Well, still. yeah, it's young, but you know what I'm you saying. Are, yeah. I didn't experience the first 50 years of her life. Well, um, anyway, I bring it up because knowing what she meant to you. And, you know, when we got married almost 20 years ago, I knew then what she meant to you. Mm-hmm. I was lucky enough to know her for several years, too. Yeah, um, and you and are I'm very glad. sentimental with her stuff. We, as a couple, we have more of her stuff than anybody else in the family. Even her mm-hmm. children, you know, don't have as much of her stuff as we do. We have her piano and we have her dining room table, with the ground table, mm-hmm. that had these chairs around it. And there were 10 chairs. And the chairs, the style of the chair, were n- not my jam, you yeah. know. And so for many, many they years. They would have gone great at a huddle house or a you know, waffle house yeah. or something like that. They fit. Yeah. They remind me of chairs at a restaurant with a nautical theme. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> that is what they were, yeah, Sam. They the white it. preservers, some the deal some is, netting, and those chairs. You know they'll come back into style, and you're going to be like, "Man, we should have kept them." You know, I didn't think about that. You're right because anywhere I've gone in this country, where a seafood restaurant like the old school, yeah. family owned seafood restaurants, that is right what those chairs and they were comfortable. But I, re- you know, we've and been married for wood. a long time. I, re- I know. we've. We've ha- we've kept a lot of stuff that belonged to her that I would not have chosen, and I will take heat for saying this. But at some point, to me, it felt like okay, I I need this room to feel like my room. Like I'm, you know, at some point, no, I'm the woman of the house that. now. Yeah. Gotta modernize. I want I want to modernize. So I'm really proud of you. Props to you for being able to let me sell them and let them go. I tried to give them away within the family. I called everybody that I could think of in the family. Nobody like, wanted them. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wanted them but Murphy. See how Last special chance. they were. So I'm literally, when the lady called back and said she really wanted them and she was coming to get them, and um, I started wiping them down for her, and I there were 10 chairs. I don't even know if she knows that. There were 10, and we sold eight to her because I advertised it as eight chairs mm-hmm. for sale. Uh, we kept two. We kept two for you. For you, yeah, and I, I mean that way. If I, I can almost let go of things, <laughs> just not totally. Keep what you want, but I'm honestly, I, I, I was, I've been waiting for the other shoe to drop, how, how, as they say, for you to. What? Man, you oh. really sold my grandmother's chairs. Sellers remorse. Yeah, I was. I'm really waiting for you to have a problem with it. So I'm so surprised that you're okay. I think that's good growth. In other words, that's smart. It's good. Yeah. To be able to let go because. 
the longer you live, stuff doesn't mean anything. It's, it's not, your life is not about stuff. And I love my stuff. But it's not about it. It's nice to have a few pieces, though, that are you know that have some family history behind them. I like, I do like that part of it. I and too. I agree, it's not the all about piano the stuff. special, you know. But it's it was ten chairs. That's a lot of chairs. <laughs> yeah. It took up a lot they, of room. They scratched floors too. You need to you know put pads on the bottom of them, and, and so look, I hear you. It's it's fine with me. The table in of itself does not bring my grandmother back. But but the table <laughs> is what we, will, but but we the table is what we get to still experience and enjoy now. Yeah, and 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 you know the piano that's... and the petticoat table. We have something called a petticoat table, which was hers, which is so cool. Why is it called a petticoat table? Because it's got mirrors on the front, and supposedly yeah, that's where you would check your petticoat to make sure that oh. nothing was showing. Your ankles weren't showing. Or being in proper. So, and I would, I'm guessing that that's probably the oldest well it's not the oldest thing that she owned it's the only it's the oldest thing that wound up being passed through the family i would guess yeah um i think it belonged to her grandmother yeah so yeah so it's Um, it's an old piece of furniture and it is cool to hold on to one or two things that mean something to you you know i really believe in that i have like two things that belong to my father and you know he meant everything to me he was my hero as when i was a little girl i was daddy's girl and he died very young unexpectedly it was horrible and um, yes, I have his guitar, which he used to play. Speaking of childhood memories, that's mm-hmm. one of my favorites because he would break out his guitar and he'd want you, he'd want you to give him your undivided attention and everybody else would scatter. My brother would like go back in his room. My mom would go, oh, I got some clothes to fold. Mm. And then I would sit there and just love it. And he would play and sing. And so that's why it's special to me to have his guitar. But that's real that and then like his old cowboy hat. That my uncle gave me unexpectedly, like five, ten years ago. Here, this was your dad's, and I have it. I want you to have it. And I was like, "What?" Yeah. But that's it, and I'm okay with not holding on to too many things. What yeah. about you? I have just Sam. a few things of my dad's. Mm-hmm. Um, I do have. I guess the big thing I also have is the table. But he built this table. Oh. For <laughs> for me and the first wife. Yeah. And it's something that I've been able to hold on to. That's your dining table. Yeah. And so that became your marriages. half, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I like that. Over the years, it's seen a lot of wear, but mm-hmm. it needs to it needs to have some TLC. It means like if I could find the right person to come and sand it down, put a new coat or whatever on sure. it. Sure. But there are a lot of chip marks and end of spoon and fork marks and that Those kind are- of stuff. I want. I don't want to mess with. I'm yeah, those it. are character lines. Right, because that came yeah. from all five of the kids at That's one point or another. That's super cool. So the yeah. table even has more meaning now. And you could probably do it. Not that I'm volunteering you for it, but you probably and could. There was a time in life where I, I, you know, all the chairs that are with the table, I bought those plain and I stained them and sanded them and sealed them and did all that. Uh, I've done that with furniture before. It's not just, interested, at huh? At this point, it's just like, nah, I'd rather find somebody. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a very cool thing yeah. that you use anyway on the daily. The mm-hmm. table will always be super special to us. We use it also. but um, mm-hmm. So I guess thank you for letting me get new chairs. Um, well, you don't you need know. to thank me for that, but yes, you're right. It, I felt I think like it took, I do because I felt like been, I've been stepping delicately around you about the chairs for a long time. Well, if it had been, you know, when we first got the table, because we couldn't even fit that in in the the house that we you know raised the girls in, in the, just because the table itself would have fit, all the chairs would not have fit. Right. Um, but you know, early on, it probably would have been difficult for me to get rid of that. But now that time's gone on, I mean, I see what you're saying, and they. <laughs> they're not very modern i understand that you know they're still cool they're heavy yep. they're sturdy they feel they're very comfortable when she showed up to get them this lady i had them sitting out in the driveway area mm-hmm. almost looked like church <laughs> and i said would you like to sit in them and you know she's like no i know i want them i think she was looking for this type exactly yeah. you know so there's always a buyer she loves a seafood restaurant huh 